in hindsight it is crazy that i once thought that dot resistance was a real resistance what is dot resistance well in injustice 2 mobile the dot resistance uh should we say passive modifier start it is there to reduce the dot damage you take from opponent now the reason i thought that dot resistance was that op was because number one i thought that was the game's way of nerfing the beta club and we're going to get into beta club very soon number two i thought i also thought it was the game's way when i say the game i'm talking about interest is too mobile nrs way of nerfing uh beast boy because beast boy is very powerful dot generally is very powerful in the game um yeah, so I thought that was the way to nerf it and oh, the only way around it is to use the other kind of dot, of dot which is hazard dot damage. By, by hazard dot damage, I'm talking about the dot you get from Black Lightning, the dot you get from Mr. Freeze, the dot you get from Batwoman the Drowned when she floods the entire arena. So I thought, okay, they are trying to divert you to, divert you to go to the hazard dot damage route. Well, as you can see, guys, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm doing close, not the same. I will admit it's not the same. I do like maybe 10 or 20 million per dot more. But I am doing basically enough to still one-shot the boss. At, at around the same time I would with a beast boy. Now, that was a boss that has dot resistance. And other thing that I was just talking about on that first gameplay for Batman Who Loves, I tried using beta club gameplay. At, in fact, my video from yesterday, you will see I used uh, King of Atlantis, Aquaman, and Raven. That was needless. Like, that, <laughs> that was needlessly difficult. Like, I didn't need to do all of that because Beast Boy is the direct answer to that. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, or maybe I had used my Beast Boy elsewhere. So, yeah, uh, yeah, you you cut me some slack. But yeah, you don't even need to stress too much. Beast Boy is the perfect solution for that fight. Just make sure you don't start with Beast Boy. Start with Black Manta. And once you have enough power, maybe at least once you have over four, not exactly four, over four power bars, you tag in Beast Boy, you take out the boss. The dot resistance thing, I think that was why I didn't use Beast Boy. Because I was thinking Beast Boy will be nerfed because of the dot resistance. But the dot resistance is really not that high. I think so. So probably maybe this boss is having like 10 or 20 percent dot resistance because I've noticed that that's like the, roughly around the amount of dot that is being taken away. Now, this other fight, this is on that boss that is dot resistance. And the same thing, I don't use beta club against bosses that dot resistance because yeah, from the name you would think that oh this boss is going to like half your damage or something like that, but. I said, let me just give this a try. Since Beast Boy was able to take down a dot resistance Batman who laughs pretty easily, I might add. Then <laughs> I thought B uh, uh, Beta Club here would be quite good. And also to show you guys my Beta Club gameplay with this team. Yesterday, I showed you the Zatanna's Puppet gameplay of this same team. I was able to one shot, but uh, we went to the towards the end of the match with just very, very few seconds left. But this time around, I just want to show you guys the beta club gameplay. Of course, the beta club gameplay is more achievable, it's more straightforward. If you have beta club, use beta club on this team. If you don't, then you can check out yesterday's Zatanna's Puppet gameplay uh, for the Flood Justice team. Anyways, you can see, I was still able to defeat the boss. It was not as fast as I usually do. I noticed that the dot also was a little bit less, but just, just a little 10%. If it's too much, 15% less than what I would usually do, that is not enough to stop you from using your beta club. That is not enough to stop you from using your beast boy or any other dot damage dealer you might have. Even uh, League of Anarchy, it doesn't stop them. They're still going to do incredible amount of damage. So, yeah, dot resistance is really not... If you see dot resistance, I don't think that should affect your decision on what team to use. Uh, yeah, because I will also add that crit resistance and crit immunity actually are more potent, which is where we are going into, going into now. This first match, we are fighting one of the crit immune. This is not even resistance now. This is crit immune. This means this boss is not going to take critical uh, attack damage. Um, I probably should do a video on the teams that I would recommend for these kinds of fights. Uh, but just like a short form of that is... Uh, these bosses don't take crit at all. 
this is different from crease resistance and i've noticed crease resistance is actually more of a modifier than touch resistance because with crease resistance your chances of hitting crits are massive massively reduced this is do you know why it is that bad for crease resistance your crit chance is already 75 percent it is not a hundred percent so if you have bosses with crit resistance that is reducing your your, your crit chance uh you, no okay it's not it's not technically reducing your crit chance it's just just the way you have a chance to crit they have a chance to avoid your crit so you have a 75 percent chance to hit a crit and when that 75 percent chance hits when you when the the 75 when you your, your your when you actually get to do that uh crits because 75 percent means you're not going to do your crit all the time but when you do hit a crit if the opponent, for example, has a 75% crit resistance, it means they also have a 75% chance for your crit not to register with them. So you see, it can get crazy. I don't think the bosses have up to 75% crit resistance, but I would guess between 30 to 40%, which is still high, which is very close to half. If the boss, for example, has 40% crit resistance, it means that the 75 if you if you want to crit if you your character wants to crit and you have a 75 percent crit chance there's a 75 percent chance that every instance of your damage is going to be a crit and when it's not a crit then it's okay for the boss when it does become a crit there's now a 40 percent chance that it will no longer hit because of the boss's 40 percent crit resistance i don't know it, it may get a little bit too, too confusing maybe i'm not explaining it very well but that's generally the idea of crit chance and crit resistance so you can see crit resistance is going to be more potent way more potent that than dot resistance so that's why in, in that uh, the last match i used raving uh, i used my uh, dark metal card so one thing i always like to caveat i know i say this a lot uh, but if you are fighting against crit resistance it doesn't matter the level of dmc of dark metal cards you are using but if you are fighting crit immunity use the highest level dark metal cards you have because once the boss is crit immune a level one dmc is only going to give you a 60 percent chance it's going to give you a 60 percent chance to 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 actually say 60 percent chance to do your crit yeah but in maxed out dmc is going to give you a 100 percent chance and ignore like basically 60 percent chance to ignore that immunity of uh, the boss on that better team of course is this uh, team right here the metal team metal team is going to basically ignore crit immunity because of the presence of robin king if you have robin king then this makes a lot of sense for you to fight against uh, crit immunity so that's basically it for this video crit immunity dodge resistance they are no longer as op as they used to be because of the likes of metal team because of the lack of likes of dark metal cards uh that's about it if you enjoy my videos smash the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one